Hello, students. I welcome you to another exciting time in English language class. Before we go to today's topic, I want us to go over the previous lesson we had on test of orals. Can any of you remind us of what we did? Yes. We went through all the seven sections of the senior secondary school certificate examination on test of orals. Okay. We treated some questions using 2016 examination. What else did we learn? We learned there are more sounds than there are letters in the English language. Do you remember the effect of that? A letter is pronounced with two or more sounds, or a sound symbolizes two or more letters in different words. Very good. Since you are already familiar with the points and manner of articulation of the sounds, all we're doing today is to examine the consonant sounds and some of the consonant letters that are pronounced with those sounds. But first, let's review our learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, recognize the consonant sounds, that is the phonetic symbols. Two, pronounce the consonant sounds correctly. Three, identify some of the consonant letters symbolized by the sounds and pronounce the sounds correctly in given words. Are we good to go? Thank you. Sound number one. It is used to pronounce letters P, PE, and PP. Prank, skip, troop, cope, poppy, approval. Sound number two. B, B. It symbolizes letters B and BB. B in brilliance. Table, BB in bubble, pebble. Sound number three, pronounce after me. It is used to pronounce the following letters. T in train, practical. CT in battle, cattle. BT in doubt, daughter, PT in receipt, ED in picks, slats, fixed, washed, watched, kissed. Note, letter B is silent in doubt and daughter, while P is silent in receipt. We also use sound t to pronounce letter D. In tricks, dance, etc. The last letters of trick, CK, are pronounced as sound k, a voiceless sound, while the last letters of dance, CE, are pronounced as sound s, also a voiceless sound. So the pass marker letter D must also be pronounced as a voiceless sound. So what do we do to achieve that? We convert it so it's voiceless counterpart sound. Then we pronounce as tricks, not tricked. Dance, not danced. Sound number four. Shall we pronounce together? D, D. It is used to pronounce letters D and D, D. Word examples. Daily, tread, bridle, paddle, 
See you after the break. Welcome back. We continue with sound number five. K -k. This is used to pronounce the following letters. K in kiln, break. CH in chemistry, architect. LK in walk, talk. C in success, scope. The first letter C of success is pronounced as K. Letter Q in banquet, in question. CK in pack, sack. KE in cake, bake. X in ax, exercise. Letter X here comprises two sounds, k and s. We will still come across this letter under sounds g s, and z. Sound number six, g. Let's pronounce it again, g, g. It symbolizes letters G in brag, gray. GG in struggle, haggle, letter X in examination, example, exact. Letter X is pronounced here with the two sounds G and Z. Sound number seven. It is used to pronounce letters F in frame, brief, FF in baffle, caffeine, FT in soften, GH in rough, love, PH in phonetics, physics, photograph. Sound number eight, v, v. We use it to pronounce letters V in vacation, privilege, VV in flavor, savvy, VE in brave, save, PH in Stephen, sound number nine, pronounce after me. It is used to pronounce letter TH in words like tooth, oath, length, breath, bath. Sound number 10. The, it is the voice counterpart of sound number nine. It is pronounced as TH in smooth. Father, them, there. C H E in breathe, bathe, bathe, clothe. Breathe is the verb form of breath, while bathe is the verb form of bath. Sound number 11. S -s -s. It symbolizes the following letters s in soul lost ss in pass classic c e in pace brace s e in case s c in science shutter p s in psychology psyche s w in sword not sword X in exchange, excellent. ST in listen, hustle, bustle. See you after the break. I hope you enjoyed your break. Pronounce the following words. C-H-A-M-P-A-G-N-E M-E-A-S-U-R-E H O N O U R Champagne 
right? Measure. Honor. Okay, you soon find out if you are wrong or not. That takes us to the next set of sounds. Sound number 12. Z, z. It is used to pronounce letters Z in zip, brazen, Z, Z in dazzle, puzzle, S in physical, boys, rise, S, S in scissors, X in exaggeration, example, sound number 13, shh, shh. It is used to pronounce letters SH in shoes, trash, CH in champagne, not champagne, parachute, machine, S in tension, insure, SS in pressure, mission, C in pollution, education, C in musician, politician, and SC in conscience, etc. Sound number 14. Y, y. It represents letters S in vision, measure, not mayor. Leisure, letter G in genre, genres of literature, not genre. G E in beige, garage, Z in seizure. Sound number 15. <sighs> this sound is used to pronounce letters H and W H. H in home. Hot, household, hence. WH in who, whole, ho. Letter W is silent in those words. Note, sound is silent in some words like honor, not honor. Our, not how. Honest and not honest. This is where we'll draw the curtain on the topic. I hope we'll be able to complete the last nine sounds in the next class. Assignment. From the words lettered A to D, choose the word that has the same consonant sound or sounds as the one represented by the letter underlined. Number one, refine, F underlined. Options, A, phantom, review, that is B, C, vote, D, Stephen. Two, how, letter H underlined, A, honor, B, hour, C, high, D, er. Three, X, X underlined. A, ask. B, X, C, tax. D, kiss. Number four, mugs. Letter G underlined. A, examine. B, excellent. C, accept. D, exceed. Number five, although, CH underlined, A, donuts, B, Thomas, C, V, D, fifth. 